If you're like many pickleball players, you probably don't love hitting backhands. There aren't too many people I've come across who said, oh, Mark, backhands are my favorite. I love to do them, especially when we're talking about lower level players, even intermediate players, even advanced intermediate players often work pretty hard actually to avoid their backhand, right? They run around it to hit their forehand or whatever. But next time you're watching advanced players play, whether this is online or in person somewhere, notice how often they choose to play backhands. And this is especially true when returning serve. A lot of the time they go out of their way to play a backhand return. Why is that? What's going on here? Let's talk about it. Okay, so the first thing to remember is that advanced players are lazy. They don't want to run more than they have to. Well, I'm just kidding about the lazy part. They're not lazy, of course, but why would you want to run more than you have to? If the ball comes to your backhand, you want to play a forehand, you got to run all over the court to avoid it. Instead, if that ball comes to your backhand side and you happily just play from your backhand side, you don't have to move so much. And that is pretty important if you're trying to conserve energy. Maybe you're trying to make it to a gold medal match at the end of the day. Anyway, you get the idea. So one of them is just ease of movement. You don't have to move so much. You don't put yourself as out of position going off the court. And by the way, when you're playing against other advanced players, they tend to be pretty good at aiming the ball, so getting it out toward your backhand. They're gonna know that if you're gonna put yourself out of position, if they just serve toward that backhand, they're often gonna create an opening. So hit your backhand because it's over there, you can still keep good position in the court. Here are some nice examples of backhands, and you'll notice here that there's kind of like a little pendulum action here. All these players are right-handed, so you can see the backhand slice goes kind of like across their body as they hit. Now, this tends to be a pretty comfortable motion for many players, especially if they come from other racket backgrounds where they have been hitting a ball with a backhand slice. This is a good way to put spin on the ball, and spin can be really useful when you're hitting a return of serve. Why is that? Well, if the ball is spinning, then it's a little bit tougher to hit a really precise drop. And if a player tries to play a precise drop, but there's a lot of spin, there's a better chance that the drop is hit poorly and can then be attacked. So being able to put some spin on the ball is a good idea when hitting returns, and it tends to be fairly easy to do off that backhand side. The other nice thing about backspin is that ball tends to stay lower. It skids a little bit more, can be a little bit tougher to handle. And that's a really useful thing as well when you're approaching the net to keep that ball low. So why not make your life easier? Rather than having to run yourself ragged all over the court and sometimes put yourself out of position, just learn to hit a nice easy backhand and make your life more comfortable. Okay, so there you have it when returning serve with a backhand. A lot of people really like it. It's really easy when you're hitting slice, when you're trying to put backspin on the ball or maybe even a little bit of side spin. You've got this kind of like natural pendulum action happening that's often a little bit more controlled on the backhand side than on the forehand side. So maybe this is something you can go out and practice yourself as practice returning that backhand, use a little bit of side spin, use a little bit of backspin, see how it goes. Wouldn't it be nice to not be afraid of hitting your backhand? 